Okay, so this is a video to follow on from the one about the flesh and how bad it is. So, since we know how bad the flesh is, what is to be done about it or what has been done about it? Uh, we know it's not fixable, but it's still a problem. We've got to deal with it. So, when we're born again, our flesh or our old man inherited from Adam is put to death or crucified with Christ on the cross. You are reborn by the Spirit of God by incorruptible seed. And you can see that in 1 Peter 1, 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. And I might as well read 24. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. So our flesh is passing, thank goodness, uh, and has been put to death. And we have been born of incorruptible seed. We are baptized into his death. We were buried with him and raised with him. The body of sin was destroyed so that we would no longer serve sin and be free of sin. So death and sin has no more dominion over us. Yes, our flesh will die physically, as we know from this. Oh, we know that. Um, but our new man or new creature will live forever. And Romans 6 from verse 3. Let's read a fair bit of this. Um, lays this all out. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For for in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in he that sorry, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'll stop there. And also Second Corinthians five 17 Therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new So when you realize that your flesh is corrupt and can do nothing good you can begin to understand the cross and glory in it Galatians 6 14 But God forbid that, <clears throat> sorry. But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. So we glory in the cross and sorry, just trying to figure out where I'm up to. Um, no, that was it really. We glory, we can glory in the cross because it's, it's crucified the flesh and done away with it, which is wonderful. So we are circumcised in our hearts 
our old self and natural strength was cut off when it was crucified on the cross. Uh, Philippians 3. Um, verse 3. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. So yeah, on um, some of David's recent videos, David Benjamin, he um, was talking about circumcision and, and what it means, It meaning it's to cut off the strength of the flesh, the natural strength of man and to make one basically weak and therefore reliant on God. So um, that is exactly what happens when we're, our flesh is crucified, our old man is crucified, our natural strength is cut off and we are basically weak and only have strength in Jesus because he gives that to us. Um, so we know that crucifixion of our old man is something that happened to all believers in Christ but to benefit from it in our daily lives we must reckon it to be so and that's where the difficulty lies and I'm going to talk about that in future videos so I'll leave it there. Alright, see ya.